heart of Russia, where winters bite like bears, lived Empress Anna Ioannovna. Anna wasn't your average ruler. She was, well, let's just say she marched to the beat of her own frozen drum. One chilly day, Anna got an idea so crazy, it could only have hatched in a blizzard. She declared, I want a palace, but not just any palace, I want one made of ice. The poor architects probably thought they'd misheard. Ice? For a palace? But Anna was determined. And so, the construction began. Hundreds of workers toiled day and night, their breath puffing like smoke dragons in the freezing air. They carved ice chandeliers that sparkled like frozen tears, and ice sculptures that danced in the moonlight. And there it stood, the ice palace, a testament to Anna's wild imagination, and maybe a touch of frostbite. Anna threw a party to make the North Pole jealous. There were ice musicians playing frosty tunes, ice jesters cracking icy jokes, and even an ice wedding for her court jester, because why not? The ice palace may have melted away with spring, but the memory of its icy magic 